This is Bimbo. He lives in Stiltsville. Everyone here helps to produce wool. Wool blended with fairy tales which is sent out to every corner of the world. One day Bimbo acquires a bucket, a magic bucket, which will give him anything he wishes for. This is the guardian of the bucket, Teeny Weeny. Soon others are after it. Dolly Clackhanger for one. Dolly would dearly love to be the village witch, but she's been thrown out of the village because of the noise and mess caused by her experiments. The small one is her assistant, Sploot. Queen Cack, the lazy, greedy ruler of the country, also wishes to possess the bucket and sends her servants, Bilge and Euler, to steal it. Bimble and his bucket and Teeny Weeny have found themselves caught up in an extraordinary event. The failed results of Mudge's thousands of experiments poured into the drains beneath his laboratory have finally blown a huge hole in the planet. Slee's city has slid into the crater and Stiltsville and the surrounding countryside have been left suspended above. The villagers are not quite sure what to make of the situation. Seems like we're up in the air then. Strikes me we're better off up here. That old Queen's tax collectors won't be round no more, will they? <laughs> and could be that Dolly Clackhanger's fallen in the hole along a Queen Clack. Even better. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> In Slee's city, Mudge surveys the wreckage of his laboratory. Mudge! <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. A catastrophe has occurred, Mudge. I want revenge upon that wretched villager. Bimbo, Your Majesty. And I want that bucket! It was the bucket which caused this disaster, was it not, Mal? Oh, absolutely, Your Majesty. It couldn't possibly have been anything to do with my experiments or anything. Good! Anyway, I saw it doing it. When we were chasing them, there were all kinds of things coming from the bucket, sort of sparkly magic things, and then everything blew up. Well, I want everything back to normal as soon as possible, and I want that Buckets. But, Your Majesty... I hope you're not going to argue, Mudge, because if so... <laughs> at least that hasn't been damaged. Back at Chateau Clackhanger, Euler and Bilge are carrying out running repairs, and Dolly is beginning to get ideas above her station. Imagine what I could do to that village if I was Chief Minister. <gasps> Imagine! She never made you Chief Minister, though, did she? She would have done. But you were supposed to win the magic competition for that. Well, there was an explosion, wasn't there? I would have won easily with that bucket. You'd be a jolly good Chief Minister, Dolly. You... Be quiet, Sploot. If I rescued the Queen from the bottom of that hole, she'd certainly make me Chief Minister. And for that, I need the bucket. Bilge! Oiler! Yeah! Go and find that bucket! But we don't know where it is, we... Then you'll have to find it, won't you? But... Now! I need it now! All right, all right, keep your ear on. You realise she'll go power mad if she gets to be Chief Minister? Hey, perhaps she'd make us like Deputy Minister. Oh, I shouldn't think so. Anyway, we've probably not got the right clothes. Do you think Dolly Clackhanger's down in the hole? No. Why not? She could be. Well, she's not, because I saw her behind us just after the explosion. Wow, pity. Come on. We've got to find a new place to hide the bucket. And it's got to be quiet because I need my sleep. Hey, look! It 
It's hollow. Look, a hollow tree. This would be a good place for the bucket. Peaceful at night, too. What about the creepy crawlies? There'll be creepy crawlies all over the place. No, there aren't. There's nothing here at all. It'll be a really good hiding place. Honestly. Well, as long as there aren't any creepy crawlies. Nothing, really. All right, then. There. Fancy a cup of tea? Well... I've got some pink cakes, too. Ooh, lovely. Thanks. Aha. This pipe must lead somewhere, but to where? On the other hand, if it leads up out of this hole, who cares? Majesty, excuse me, Your Majesty. I think I may have found a way up out of this hole, Your Majesty. Good. Uh, there's uh, just one little problem, Your Majesty. Only a smallish, uh, well, uh, quite small, uh, tiny, really, in comparison to yourself, that is, uh, sort of a person would be able to use this, uh, Your Majesty. Stop wasting my time with useless information, Mudge, and go and find a way of getting me out of here. Yes, Dolly. This waterfall ends up somewhere in Slee City. When you get there, find the palace and tell the Queen that Dolly Clackhanger sends her compliments and offers to do anything she possibly can to help Her Majesty. <laughs> Is that clear? Yes, Do... Dolly? What? Do I come back in the barrel? Uh... <laughs> no. Then how... Oh, hello, Dolly. I said, how did you get back up here? I met a person from the palace, and he shot me up a pipe, I think. Did he indeed? <sighs> oh, I reckon we can go back now. We must have been out for hours. Where we say we've been? Looking for the bucket, of course. Hey, see if you can hit an apple with your catapult. Simple. Now, little one. What's that? Now, would you credit it? A bucket? I bet it's not the right one. I bet it is. Try it. Oh, really? Look at this mess. What's happening? Someone's picked up the bucket, of course. What? I wish I had a new pair of boots. This is too much when we're trying to have tea. There! Fantastic! Look, Oiler, new boots. Seems like the very bucket what we've been looking for so hard all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Better get it back to Dolly. Who's this? Oh, my God. 
Genuine bucket. Demonstration, please, Oiler. Certainly, Bilge. I wish for a new pair of boots. <laughs> That's definitely the bucket, Dolly. Right. We must get this bucket to Her Majesty as soon as possible. And then she can make me her chief minister. How are you going to get there, Dolly? You could go down that pipe where I came up. <laughs> Certainly not. You could wish for something to get down with from the bucket. Don't be stupid. A rope ladder. Wish for a rope ladder. I wish for a rope ladder. You can't do this, teeny weeny. Sorry, I have to. But don't worry. The wishes only last for 24 hours, remember? <laughs> right. You'll guard the bucket overnight, Sploot. And we shall go and see Her Majesty first thing tomorrow. You two, go to bed. I think I'll just give my nice new boots a little polish. Yeah, me too. Nothing like nice, shiny... I said go to bed! Now! I want both of you fully conscious in the morning for a change. We're trapped! We're trapped! What are we going to do? Stop being so dramatic, Bimble. We'll just go to bed, and when we get up tomorrow, there'll be an opportunity to escape. I expect. You can go on down the pipes, Bloot, and inform Her Majesty that we are on our way. Yes, Dolly. Oh, go on then. Cheerio. Bilge! Oiler! Where's that ladder? Oh. It's really heavy, is this? Couldn't we wish for some transport? Yeah. Go on, doll. Wish. Oh, very well. I wish for some transport. They've got such a cheek. I'll give them transport. <laughs> It's completely useless. It must have some kind of fault. Ruined, you know. They'll 
never look the same. We should never have come down here. We should have insisted on not coming. It's filthy down here, filthy. I wonder if you'll get a badge to wear when you're Chief Minister, Dolly. Or a special act, or... Be quiet, Sploot. Ah! Yes, Dolly. So Dolly Clackhanger is bringing me the bucket, is she? Yes, Your Majesty. Miss Dolly Clackhanger. So, Miss Clackhanger, you have the bucket, I understand. One of my minions will be here with it directly, Your Majesty. Good. Sploot. Go back and check that those two haven't got lost and tell them to bring me the bucket immediately. Yes, Dolly. I wonder if we might discuss my new job as Chief Minister, Your Majesty. <laughs> that is, if Your Majesty is still graciously allowing me to take on such a responsibility. Of course, Miss Clackhanger, of course. I feel sure you would have won the magic competition with ease. Oh, Your Majesty is too kind, too kind. <laughs> and what exactly would be my duties and powers, exactly? You may do as you please, Miss Clackhanger, provided that I have everything I require, which includes that bucket, of course. It'll be here any minute, Your Majesty. And when it is, Miss Clackhanger, you shall become Chief Minister. This stuff on our boots is going to set. And if it sets, we won't never get it off, you know. Why don't we give them a bit of a scrape, then? That might help. Now! Dolly says, please hurry up, because she liked the bucket as soon as possible. Where is it? What? The bucket? Must have rolled somewhere. Oh, don't be stupid. How could it roll somewhere? Well, I don't know. It's been stole! Come on! You've run the wrong way. You've run straight into Slee City. Well, I couldn't go the other way, could I? They'd have seen us. <laughs> Bimble! Bimble, wake up! I tell you what, I'm not going no further because these boots are not doing my feet a lot of good. Mine hurt a bit too. They look good though, didn't they? I reckon that whoever took that bucket must have escaped. I'm for having a rest. Good idea. Oh, oh. Shh. Be quiet. My head hurts. You'll feel a lot worse if those two catch us. What two? Oh. What should we do? Wait till they go away. But we could be here for hours. Better than being dragged in front of Queen Cack. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. 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 Dolly's looking for you. She's rather cross and she wants to go home. Oh, wonderful. Terrific. Right, they've gone. I wish for a ladder. Why haven't you found it? You've been searching all day. All day? We've been doing our best, Dolly. Perhaps it magic its way back up the ladder. Oh. Come along, back to the ladder. <gasps> there he is! Stop!
wish for something to fly in. Save yourself the climb. Oh, I forgot. If you didn't wear those ridiculous boots, you'd have caught him. You're hopeless. Uh, completely and uh, utterly hopeless. Get up that ladder. Not long now. What are you doing? Well, they've had their wishes nearly 24 hours, haven't they? Now! Yeah! My boots! And again! Shooting up that pipe, isn't it, Dolly? Ow! His head was covered ear to ear in a pail. He somehow stuck it, and his plea was clear to me: Free me from this bucket. I could not foresee what fate had planned for me.